Hi everyone, today we are going to discuss about top 35 MCQs of Unit 3. Unit 3 covers food safety ecosystem in India. Remaining 7 units will be discussed on further classes. So please subscribe our channel. Please note that current CEO of Food Safety and Standard Authority of India is S. Gobalakrishnan IAS. Not Arun Singhal. Let's move on to question. So the first question is the products obtained from plants, animals and mineral sources is the options are artificial neutrocuticals, traditional neutrocuticals, non-traditional neutrocuticals, none of the above. The right answer option B traditional neutrocuticals. Neutrocutical combines the two words of nutrient which is nourishing food component and pharmacutical which is a medical drug. The name was coined in 1989 by Stephen Deflis. So the examples of neutrocuticals are herbal products such as garlic and ginger, dietary fiber, phytonutrients, prebiotics and probiotics. Our next question, neutrocuticals can be prepared and sold in the form of the options tablet powder, capsules jelly, liquid granules, all of the above. The right answer, option D, all of the above, that is tablet powder, capsules, jelly, liquid and granules. And next question, omega-3 fatty acids are naturally high in salmon. Therefore, salmon can be classified as the options are neutrocuticals, fortified food, dietary supplement and functional food. The right answer, option D, functional food. Functional foods are ingredients that offer health benefits that extend beyond their nutrient value. Some examples of conventional functional foods are fruits, vegetables, nuts, seeds, legumes, whole grains, seafood and fermented food. Our next question, objective of India at 75, freedom from trans fats, targets, trans fat elimination from India by the options 2025, 2022, 2023 and 2030. The right answer, option B, 2022. And next question, double fortified salt is fortified with the options iodine, iron, iron and iodine, none of the above. The right answer, option C, iron and iodine. National Institute of Nutrition, Hyderabad, developed the dual fortification iron plus iodine and next question FFRC stands for the options food fortification research center food fortification resource center fortified food resource center fortified food research center the right answer option B food fortification resource center so fortification means micronutrients are added into the food Key micronutrients are iodine, iron, vitamin A, folic acid, zinc, vitamin D and calcium. And it is about Eat Right India movement. It was launched in 2018 led by FSSI. Tagline Sahi Bojan Better Jeevan. It is based on key themes of Eat Safe, Eat Healthy and Eat Sustainable. Its logo represents a healthy Indian tally. It's the logo of Eat Right India. That is cereals and pulses. Consume adequate quantity. Food and drink. High in fat or sugar. Consume sparingly. Milk and milk products. Consume plenty. Meat, fish and poultry. Consume moderately. And fruits and vegetables. Consume liberally. Our next question, true statement regarding trans fat. The options get generated when same cooking oil is used repeatedly, found in partially hydrogenated vegetable oil, also found in bakery products like biscuits and cakes, all of the above. The right answer, option D, all of the above. That is, it get generated when same cooking oil is 
used repeatedly and found in partially hydrogenated vegetable oil also found in bakery products like biscuit and cakes. So the next question is, objective of Eat Right Station is to ensure that safe and wholesome food to passengers of the options, bus stop, railway station, airports, none of the above. The right answer, option B, railway station. And next question, food safety training and certification is mainly for the options, designated officer, food safety officer, food business operator and food analyst. The right answer, option C, food business operator. And next question, maximum residue limit, MRL, for contaminants in food products is given by the options ISO, BIS, FSSI, CAC. The right answer, option D, CAC. Codex Alimentarius Commission. And next question, adulteran used in butter or ghee is the options, castor oil, mineral oil, vegetable oil, vanaspadi. The right answer, option D, vanaspadi. And next question, vegetable oil used for frying should have the options, total polar compounds less than 25, Total polar compounds less than 25 percentage, total polar compounds less than 20 percent and above, total polar compounds less than 25 percent and above. The right answer, option B, total polar compounds less than 25 percent. And next question, Javik Bharat is the logo of the options, organic foods from India. Organic foods imported to India, non-organic foods from India, non-organic foods imported to India. The right answer, option A, organic foods from India. Javik Bharat, it's an unified logo to identity mark, distinguish the organic products from non-organic ones, supported with the tagline of Javik Bharat at the bottom which signifies the organic food from India. And next question, Gamma stands for the options, grievances against marketing agency, grievances against manufacturing agency, grievances against marketing and advertisement, grievances against misleading advertisement. The right answer, option D, grievances against misleading advertisement. And next question, Bog, Blissful Hygienic Offering to God. It was launched in 2018, launched by Food Safety and Standard Authority of India. Its aim is to encourage all places of worship to adopt and maintain food safety and hygiene in preparation, serving and sale of food, along with training of food handlers for basic food safety and hygiene. Its certificate validity is for two years. The famous temples which are certified are Ujjain Mahal and Kajrana in MP, Sri Ram Mandir in Raipur. So, these are the 5 steps for getting the BHOG certification. To register, pre-audit, post-act training, final audit and finally the certificate is awarded. And next question, iodine test is to detect dash in milk. The options, sodium bicarbonate, vanaspadi, water and starch. The right answer, option D, starch. And next question, adulteration of mineral oil in other oils can be detected by the options, Hechner test, iodine test, peroxide test and Holtz test. The right answer, option D, Holtz test. And next question, most frequently found aflatoxin in food. The options aflatoxin A, aflatoxin B, aflatoxin C and aflatoxin D. The right answer, option A, aflatoxin A. Aflatoxins are produced by aspergillus flavors, aspergillus parasiticus, agaricus, both A and B. The right answer, 
option D both A and B that is Aspergillus flavus and Aspergillus parasiticus. Our next question substance used to adulterate some oils the options orthotricrisyl nitrate orthotricrisyl sulfate orthotricrisyl phosphate orthotricrisyl carbonate the right answer option C orthotricrisyl phosphate our next question adulterant found in oils like coconut groundnut and sesame the options soybean oil palm oil sunflower oil ergimon oil the right answer option d ergimon oil and next question ergotism is caused by the options clostridium perfringens clostridium botulinum claviceps purpurea and staphylococcus aureus the right answer option c claviceps purpurea and next question adulterant in alcoholic beverages the options butanol ethyl alcohol methyl alcohol and propyl alcohol the right answer option c methyl alcohol and next question toxic compound present in wood smoke the options chlorodioxin ethylene acetaldehyde and formaldehyde the right answer option a chlorodioxin and next question under fss regulations 2011 decide quantity of sample to be sent to food analyst in case of milk as a food article the options 700 ml 600 ml 500 ml and 400 ml the right answer option c 500 ml and next question under fss regulations 2011 decide quantity of sample required to be sent to food analyst in case of artificial sweetener is the options 1000 g 800 g 400 g and 100 g the right answer option d 100 g and next question prebiotics are the options dietary supplements nutrients phytochemicals none of the above the right answer option a dietary supplements so prebiotics are special plant fibers that help healthy bacteria grow in your gut prebiotics are a source of food for your gut's healthy bacteria and next question is traceability of goods is done with the help of the options are mrp of the product batch code quantity of the product barcode system and batch code records the right answer option d barcode system and batch code records and next question according to ghp for catering businesses frozen food should be thawed at dash temperature the options 12 degree celsius 10 degree celsius 8 degree celsius and 5 degree celsius the right answer option d 5 degree celsius ghp stands for good hygienic practices and next question which of the following artificial tabletop sweeteners need the declaration not for phenyl keto nurics the options neotem sucralose acesulfam k aspartam methyl ester the right answer option d aspartam methyl ester phenyl ketonuria it's a rare inherited disorder that causes an amino acid called phenylalanine to build up in body and next question coffee is adulterated with the options sawdust ghee chicory all of these the right answer option c chicory and next question what is the area on which information under fss packaging and labeling called the options principal display panel primary display of product principal display of product and primary display panel the right answer option a principal display panel 
And next question, use may date is required for which food as per FSS regulation? The options, soft drinks, bread, canned foods, none of the above. The right answer, option B, bread. And next question, the TSS of thermally processed tomato paste should be minimum. The options, 35%, 25%, 15%, and 10 percentage the right answer option b 25 percentage so here about tss total soluble solids tss value is defined as the amount of sugar and soluble minerals present in fruits and vegetables the method for its determination is by hand refractometer and refractometer is based on the principle of total refraction so Coming to the TSS of different fruits and vegetables, tomato paste 25%, tomato ketchup 25%, fruit syrup 65%, fruit jam 65%, fruit jelly 65%, fruit cordial 30%, fruit nectar 15%, fruit juice 10% and 9% for tomato puree and grapefruit juice. If you have any doubt, please ask on to comment section. Remaining 7 units will be discussed on further classes. Please subscribe our channel. Thank you.